Hi everybody and welcome, it's Ruth here at Artful Stampin' and so I'm going to do a scrappy video because I had a little bit of a clear out of my desk well, out of my, de of my desk? Anyway, there was a whole pile of stuff over there it was just getting higher and higher and higher so I decided to put it all in a box and we'll see what we can make so welcome everybody, lovely to see you I'll try and say hello to a few more of you as you come in um, this is going out live on Friday night here in the UK, so if you're watching this after then, welcome to the replay. Right, I have got my hot glue gun plugged into the side of me because sometimes when I get started on these scrappy type uh, cards it's just easier to have a hot glue gun as opposed to anything else. So. Um, yeah, just letting you know. There. Hi Steph, Deborah, Michelle, Jessica, Sheila, Janice, Jess, uh, Janet. Lovely to see you all. Please do share this out with, on social media now because it means we're right at the beginning so someone who may want to watch the entirety of it might enjoy it. So um, do invite people now. Okay, so immediately on my desk I've noticed this piece and I thought that would go with that. Oh, and it might go with that piece of gold there. Also, there's this nice bit of brown. That kind of sort of goes with it. So what I do is when I have scraps like this, I have a bit of a sort through. See what I've got. That's just a piece of white, so I'll take, leave that over there. I'll take all the white pieces out and stick them together. All the neutral pieces. There we go, put them all together. One of the bits of card. And then, what else have I got here? Oh, that might go with that. Oh, there's a rose there. Got another piece of this. Let's see what's back of there. Okay. Got this left over from the other day. So I know what, let's pile those up in a corner over here. I'm getting scrappy tonight. Oh, now this I put in the discard pile because I got some water on it. I spilled a drink. But it doesn't mean we can't use it. I might be able to use a portion of that. So, oh, now that's a card base. So that just goes in my box next to me. Beiges. Beige and green. We could go beige and green. Got a scrappy bit there. That might look nice there. Um... What's on the back of that? Oh, that might go nicely with that green one. So this, some of these pieces are leftovers from me having a bit of a play and experiment and just decided not really to go ahead and make a card at all. So, um, but I just didn't want to throw it away. So, okay, see like a piece like that. It's like, hmm. Oh, actually, it's quite nice the juxtaposition there. Right, oh, bit of post-it note. Don't need that in there. Oh, nice piece of stripe. Now this is left over from me doing that. I might keep that actually because I might want to do a bit another bit of stenciling. So how's everybody doing? So in the UK. Just to, so it's recorded and <laughs> so you guys know what is happening. Uh, our government has announced that all um, bars and pubs and restaurants and those kind of things are closing from tonight to cut down on, uh, well, to help with social distancing. I think there are still a lot of people who are being very complacent about this all. So I think they've had to take that measure. Oh, I've got that. Some, do you remember this piece that I did the other day? I've got a bit of this all left over from that. Oh, nice bit of ribbon. We can maybe do a very shabby, cheeky card there. Another bit of ribbon. Maybe we could pop that there. Shared out to friends. Cannot figure how to share to a group. Uh, what, a Facebook group? Do you want me to show you how to do it, Deborah? 
I'm happy to give you a quick little tutorial. Oh, now this was some stamping that I started but didn't quite finish and started colouring it in. Um, oh, actually, that might go with that. Put that set there. Yes, please. All right, I'll do a quick little tutorial then. Hi, Christine. Let's just make sure you can see this. So you go to the share button here share post so oops you go to news feed uh, only only if you're allowed to do that Deborah I'm, I'm sure they won't mind okay so up here share to Facebook. Oh, it says share to Facebook you go in group and you press on group and then it will give you options of what group okay right hi Christine nice to see you let me just start up. I just want to get make sure that what I'm watching is the updated version. Oh, got a nice little scrap of black and white. You know me, I like a bit of black and white somewhere. So for those of you who have just joined, I'm just going through my scrap pile. Oh, that's a whole card I've already made. Yay, win-win. <laughs> that can go in my card box. I don't need to make that one so what I do is I go through my scrap pile and I just kind of um, congregate them that's quite a good word isn't it make kind of make piles of stuff that are sort of similar you know similar in color or whatever well that's quite nice with that and then um, oh, this is left over from one I did the other week isn't it and go together. Um, that's a bit purple. Or oh, we've got green on that side. Oh, okay. We've got a nice frame here. Yay, you did it. Well done. And then I've got all these strips, bits and bobs. Oh, oh, nice bit of glitterati here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Haven't we got anything else red going on though? That's any problem. Right. And then we've got loads of strips. Got... Now I do want to have a go doing that strip scrap card that Kylie Batucci has shown recently. So I think I might have a go doing that. Oh yeah, look, I can do that with these strips here. Uh, also, I have got some stamping that I've done the last few weeks that I've not used. Um, oh no, I think that's just going to be adding more. No, no, no. I'm not going to deal with that right now. It's just going to add more problems. Okay, so I've got a nice pink base here. What about we do a bit of that? And a bit of gold. Do you want my pink flower? I am tempted to get out some of my flowers that are not stamping up. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, just to make these look a little bit more glamorous. I've got a whole load of old Prima flowers. Um, and some roses. like my roses look look how lush these are I can't I can't leave those on the shelf can I you know I've got to get those up have a little play with those and oh what else have we got? Oh. look some other lovely lovely goodies this is going back a bit this is uh, this is pre-stamping up days this is but you know what might as well use them make use of them because the way things are going in the world not sure how long we're all going to be around for so let's enjoy these gifts while we can right uh, there's a few little flowers there throw those on there 
it's just paper. Nice creamy flower there. So that might be a bit too bright, but oh, so what? Let's go for it. Oh, that's a nice velvet one there. Let's just see what else I've got in here. Put that pinky one. Right. Anything else? Anything else? Where's another one? Might not use them all, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. Now I need to tidy up again. I'll keep those together. If I lay them all back in piles put all those together <coughs> oh excuse me right so let's start with this one shall we so this one got discarded because i put it through the embossing folder and it went a bit ski whiff but it doesn't matter does it really Let's just, you know, get on and make something beautiful. So let's just rip a bit off there, rip a bit off there. And as I said, for the sake of time, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do that. Get it on. Pile these up on here. Hello, Nidia. Salut. Okay, I'm just piling them up. I'm thinking, I wonder whether to stick one of these through the hole there so we can hide this here. Hmm, need to cut a big hole in that. Oh, why won't that go in? Oh, oh there we go. Just to make it look a bit different, really. A bit fuller. Okay, so then we've got to get rid of this little bit at the back. Hide it behind another petal. Or just chop it off. <laughs> yep, yeah, just chop it off. Big blob, blob of glue on there. Stick that on like that. Okay, should we put a nice pink flower there? Now, the fun thing about these long stalks here is that you can wrap them around something like a, I don't know, a toothpick or anything a bit pointy like this. And you can make it into a kind of like interesting coily thing just to add more texture. So I put that blob of glue on there. Oh, I'm getting glue on my scissors now. Oh, sorry, Christine. Okay. No worries. Oh, should I get that stuck on somewhere? I wonder if there's any more of these. Oh, I've got a couple more of them. It's quite a 
quite nice to create a bit of interest. Oh, that pearl's moved. Let's see if I can get that to stick back with a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of glue. Now, you do have to be careful when you put hot glue onto these um, pearl things um, because this is made of plastic itself. So if you get it too hot, it'll just melt and fall apart. So these, I don't know, they're just... You get them in sort of like bridal wear sections of craft shops. So, take care, Ellie. No worries. It is a bit late, isn't it? Okay, I'm just tucking that under there. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's way too big. Nope, I'm going to have to cut that down further. Cut that off. That just did not work, did it? Stick that under there. <laughs> I'm not very happy with that either. Would a glue dot work? Yeah, it could. It's just because I've got the hot glue gun and being lazy to be quite honest yeah i'm just kind of going i can't be bothered to get anything else out hi ruth watching on catch up no you're not babsy you're here with me now <laughs> i think i produce more scraps and cards today says wendy <laughs> that happens sometimes it's all right. You're allowed to do that. Okay, I'm just going to tuck that little flower in there. There we go. Oh, got a nice, nice little rose to tuck in somewhere. Oh, let's tuck it under there. Kia ora, Diane. Oh, thank you. Oh, ooh, tuck that one under there. Yay. Ooh, go on, under you go. Yes, this has become very flower heavy, this one, isn't it? But it's quite cute, isn't it? It's nice to sometimes use things that you don't usually use. You made ten cards, eight Easter cards and two Get Well cards. Flip it, heck, Wendy, as they say. That's a lot. Productive day, eh? Right. I'm wondering if we could put the little... No, I'm going to leave that as is. It's just a nice scrappy card. I've just got to find some glue now. Where's my glue? Hi, Sibo. Today was first attempt at decorating a small gin goblet. Oh, I say. How does one go about doing that? I'm the unexpected crafter. I like it, Deborah. Right, so this is one of those kind of whatever occasion you want type cards all right it's just what is what it is all right okay moving on let's go with oh yes i wanted to play with this 
see what I could do. Um, let's grab. Oh, that'll do. Okay, so I'm just going to stick the middle portion down, and I know some of you have seen me do this before. Hello, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I don't know what... Actually, if you are new, if this is the first time you've watched me, please could you comment below and tell me how you found me? Because I'm always fascinated to, see, to find out how people find each other on YouTube. Um, I was chatting to Deborah earlier today. And uh, it was interesting, as she said. So she found me via Esther, via um, someone in America, via someone else in America. <laughs> so it's always interesting to hear people's journeys and then the connections people make. So, Hi, Janice. Nice to see you. Right, so there we go. We've got a bit of green down there. Then... I'll decide what I'm going to do with this. I could fussy cut this out a little bit, but not really fussy cut it, just rough fussy cut. This is like cheap fussy cutting, isn't it? This is like, I can't be bothered fussy cutting. I get my bone folder and smooth it out when it looks like that, says Wendy. Really, Wendy? <laughs> you don't do shabby chic then, do you? You do nice and neat. Oh, yes, I saw that announcement. I didn't really look at it closely, um, Steph. Yeah, Sarah's doing a live, isn't she? That'll be cool. Right, I think underneath here we could have lots of something going on. Um, like, um, oh, I tell you what I have still got is some of that paper, shreddy paper stuff. Let me have a quick look. I can find some. A few years ago. Stenciling, said, says Vanessa. I'm surprised Sheila didn't say Vanessa. Um, Sheila didn't say stenciling. Gold bits. Gold bits. I've got some gold bits here. Oh, I found a gold leaf. Let me see what's in the bottom of this basket. I had a bit of a big clear out of scraps recently so I don't have as many little it, itty bits as I used to have oh and a green butterfly though this card is going to be extremely random just so you know Another, oh, there's another gold leaf. That's handy. Another green butterfly. There we go. That's not so random, is it? Right, let's get the old tweezers out. 
that bit of a tweezer room. Oh, OCD overload now, says Wendy. Yeah, I know. This is not your type of card at all, is it, Wendy? Don't you worry, don't you worry. It'll come together. It'll come together. Right, I think it'll be interesting to have a little bit of gold under here. Oh, you're so gracious, Wendy. Ooh. All right, so I'm just going to pop that on the edge there, like that. And roll that back underneath. So we've got this little hint of gold. You see, little little hint of gold there on the edge. Pull this one back. My son's singing in the front room. I don't know why. What are you singing? Right, remind me not to send this card to Wendy, everybody, okay? the gold and all of the shreddies oh the one little shreddy there that I haven't used there we go right I would recommend at this point getting out your silicon mat if you can lay your hands on it no can't lay my hands on it I don't know where it's gone right and just putting it on top and putting it putting it down just so that you don't get glue on your fingers but never mind right so that goes there and I think that can go over the top do some blobs there blob 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 just get some of that to poke out a bit more a little bit more on this side. There we go. I can picture her getting it out of the mail. I know. Can you imagine? Should I just send it to Wendy anyway? <laughs> She'd be like, oh no, not that card. Right, pop that under there. Oh, I'm going to find the other glue sticks. I'm starting to run out of glue here. Pop that under there. Uh, oh, Deborah, you want to see me at Christmas when someone sends me a glitter card? Do you ever do you open your Christmas cards over a bin then, just in case it has glitter in it, Wendy? Right, so you've got, oh, now, is that two different coloured butterflies? No, I think that's one coloured butterfly. That's all right, isn't it? Right, have I got some little white roses, I wonder? Oh, I've got some little grey roses. That's quite nice, isn't it? You've been, <laughs> you've been known to vacuum the car. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, I used to love getting glitter cards at Christmas as a child. I think I have I have told this story before, so I'm sorry that if you've heard it before, but 
um, up until nine years old, I lived in Nigeria. And, um, and so, you know, glitter cards were really, like, rare to be able to get them. So they were really precious if you did get one. And, um, and obviously I didn't really see snow for a, a number of years. So when I came back to the UK and there was frost on the ground, you know when it's frosty and it, you look down and it just looks like the glit there's glitter on, a, on the pavement or grass or whatever. I used to love it when it was frosty because it just reminded me of those glitter Christmas cards. So... Uh-oh, where's my glue sticks gone? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, Wendy, you shouldn't see my room. Oh, my word. No, that's fine. It's a bit like how I I dislike animal print. <laughs> oh, I've just pulled that off. Never mind. I'm a bit averse to animal print. However, I do have an animal print set of pajamas because my mother-in-law gave them to me, which I you know I enjoy wearing because they're very soft. Right. Oh, I've got to have three roses, haven't I? I can't just have two. Put another one in there. All right, I'm just wiggling this wire around again so that we can make use of this stem like that. Yeah, seeing as we're going for all out texture on here. There we go. Right, shall we go a step further and go for some gold thread? I think we should. Oh, I found some gold sequins. Oh, have I got any gold thread left? Oh, I do. Oh, I do, I do. Look at that. Oh, let's go for it. All the glitz and the glam and the shabby chic. Let's do it. And it's dark when you wear them, so you can't see the animal print. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to tuck that under there, under that leaf. No, you don't, Vanessa. You don't need roses. You can make them yourself. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Put glue on my finger by accident. Right, so I'm thinking I am going to just drop a whole load of this gold thread on it and then in order to keep it in place I'm going to just stick the butterflies strategically. Right, so do that there. Then... Yes, I do have a silicon thimble somewhere. Somewhere. I got gifted one. I put it somewhere safe. Hi, Francine. Oh, I found it. I thought, just as I said, I put it somewhere safe. I thought, I'm just going to see if it's in my tools drawer. And it was. There we go. Right, let's have a look at this gold thread. Let's see if it needs taming. So, 
actually, I've just realised why I can hear my son singing in the front room. It's because I went, I went up to his bedroom earlier just to check on him because I've not seen him for a few hours. And um, it's been a bit of an odd day today because he went to school and he's not due, he wasn't due to take his exams until May time. And these are the exams that he's, he would have been doing uh, prior to going to university. So he's planning to go to university. Um, but because of everything that's happened, all the exams in the UK have been cancelled. So it's a really odd day because today was like his last day of school, but without all the pomp and the ceremony and it's just like bleh. And um, so I thought, and he came back from school and I think he was a bit subdued and I thought, oh, I think it's just starting to hit him. What's happening? And um, so I thought, I'd better go and check on him. Anyway, so he was just playing a game. He was like, oh, I'm just playing Minecraft and um, I'm in some karaoke chat group. Okay, and I was like, oh, all right then. Anyway, I've just realised that's why I can hear him singing. He's in some karaoke chat group on his phone with his friends. Right, I was going to use this butterfly, wasn't I? I'm thinking, what about cutting this out? Hi, Navarana. Although, it's going to be a bit tricky to cut this out. Because look, look at where it's positioned. Mm, okay, let's cut there. Yeah, I know. Well, all that I say all that work, but um, I, th I think he's still going to enter his arts art coursework because um, the teachers will base their mark on their work that they've already done. So he's already done most of his art coursework uh, in preparation for an exam that they're now not going to take. So I think he's going to submit that. So. Now, I have got a butterfly here that's going to have a bit lobbed off it, but I'm thinking we could use it strategically. Yeah, no, that's that's probably going to happen, Steph, basically, yeah. Right, so I want that one somewhere, but I want to hide the fact that I've lobbed off the wing. So if I put it up there and then put another butterfly there, you won't tell anybody, will you? And then if I put that there, or, mm, yeah, if I put that there, um, I could maybe stick another butterfly on its wing like that. There's now a curfew in Bavaria. Oh, good. Well, they've just shut down all the bars and stuff here in the UK. Me. Right, um, no, 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 no. I want to stick that there like that, and then we'll hide, hide the that bit there. We stick a Stick a butterfly on there. It'll just look like there's another butterfly. Oh, Steph, have you? There, there have been announcements about salaries and things um, tonight. Boris Johnson, well, uh, the finance minister has made announcements about um, people's wages and things. Yeah, I, I think I think it'll be fine. Right, so I've got this one little butterfly left here, so I think I might just tuck him in over there. He 
Yeah, there was a there's a phone number I think you can ring for employees because they said that they'll pay eighty percent. They announced they'll pay eighty percent of people's wages. Yeah. Right, I actually really like this. Um, although it's a bit hard to see it against this, so let me just grab a piece of plain. There we go. Take that out a bit. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, mm, no, that's not going to work. Uh, I did a Vanessa. <laughs> It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Just a bit of card. Right, let's just trim that down then. We'll trim that down a bit there. Actually, what I could do is trim it back so that you see the gold. There we go, that'll do. It'll be fine. Oh, this is going to be a very sturdy card at the end of this. Always look on the bright side of life. Oh, I've still got my silicone thing on. Right, another piece of card. What have I got here? Oh, there we go. Bit of nice bit of that. Right, double check. Yes. Yeah, how to fix a boo boo. Yes, exactly. Never glue right to the edges. I mean, who's got time for all that anyway? <laughs> I quite like this. I love all the colours. I really like it. Right, next. Look, that's a bit of scrappy doodle. Right, I was going to go for something a bit different now. Do I go for that? Do I go for that? Still got all this gold stuff. I think it's some. Um, well, it's it's all the celebration stuff, isn't it? Shall I go something for a bit a bit neater now for you guys who are a bit traumatised after that last card. <clears throat> I'll even get my trimmer out for this. Ruth would have edited this out if it wasn't live. <laughs> yeah, too right. I'd have been like, yeah, you're not going to see my boo-boo. Okay, so tip, stick your thumbnail in. Pop it under the trimmer. By the way, you've only got two weeks or so left to get this trimmer. Celebration is ending at the end of March. So if you want this trimmer for free, £99 sign up. You get this trimmer, you get 
various well you can choose whatever stamp sets you want really you can spend 130 pounds well, you don't spend it you get it i keep I keep phrasing that wrong um i think we need something plain to contrast here yeah. that's more like it says wendy less froth and frizzle <laughs> I have a wee bit there, snicking through. I have a wee bit over here. Yeah, is that all right, Wendy? Happy now? Now, did I have a piece earlier of that bit? But there wasn't there a piece that's got, ah, yes, a flower. I'm wondering if I cut out this flower. Or, oh, I know. What about we just look in my flower jar and see if we can find something to match hmm okay let's have a peek here got a bit got a bit of an orange thing going on another bit of orange we need a nice sort of aquary color got a bit of that uh, Bit turquoise. Oh, it's a nice bit of. Actually, maybe we don't need that piece at all. We'll see. Bit brown. Bit of that. Hi, Hecla. Yeah, you can have some of my flowers. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, this is these. This is from eBay days, long ago. Oh, look at that colour! Isn't that gorgeous? That's like pretty peacock, and I think I stamped that in pretty peacock. <laughs> Wendy, you're funny. Right, I'm thinking, because we've got all these lovely flowers, we need to kind of have a bit more, I don't know, a bit more clear space. Oh, I don't know. Start again. You spent yesterday doing your homework. Good woman. If you don't know what Vanessa's on about when she says do my homework, it's because I issued a challenge to use inks, the whole ink families, either sprites or subtles, no, brights or regals to stamp something. Take care, Deborah. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, I'm just not sure at all about this. Oh, I'm just not feeling the love at all.
Oh, but look, there is a peachy butterfly. Oh, it might all come back. Hold on, hold on. Let's see if there's a turquoisey or something. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Sorry guys, not feeling the love of that one. Hi Christine, nice to see you. Just to goes to show though, if you're not fe if you're not feeling it for something, just just move on to something else because otherwise you can end up spending a long time just feeling inadequate. <laughs> So sometimes it's best just to move on. Go and find an alternative happy place and then come back to it. That, that. Ooh, what about the contrast of that against that? That's nice. And we've got a little bit of this ribbon left over. Now this was out of stock last time I, um, I heard. I haven't checked to see if it's back in stock yet. No, it's not that card stay. It's okay. It will have its moment. Oh, what about a nice bit of lime green against that purple? Sometimes it's nice to do something surprising. Have a surprising colour in there. Lime green is always a good surprising colour to have. Actually that flower might be better because I can pop a purple in there. See this one's got four petals and it's a bit trickier to kind of place that one when you've got other things, other flowers with other kinds of petals on it. But anyway, right, let's pop these back. Oh, maybe some of these aqua ones. Let me just see if I've got anything lilac in here. No, I've only got a pink. No, not going to work. Although I have got a lush, big white rose. I bought quite a few of these white ones because I thought it'd be fun to spray them. So if anyone's thinking of buying roses like this, uh, if they're in stock, I'd get like the white or the cream. Because you can always spray these. You can always spritz these. So... Cut the one with the four leaves and four leaves in half and use as a leaves. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's see. We'll see how it develops. So let's start constructing. Right, put that gold ear on there. Like that. Now this is embossed. So this is embossed with a beautiful floral embossing folder that is still current. And uh, it was 
I think you could get it for free last year during celebration and it just became an absolute hit um, and it's sold out for ages and it's so gorgeous it really is right now because I'm just doing that there I'm thinking if I put a bit of glue there a bit of glue there And then we'll pop that over the top. Ooh, stay, stay. Stay, stay, stay. All right, and a bit of glue there, 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 You're still with me. Right, so it's quite fun to then stick this through there, like that. And then if you do that, it just anchors it off. Now I don't want to cover too much of this up because it's quite nice to have that showing you know you did all that stamping so it's nice to have that so let's pop that under there put that on there Ooh, a bit of a glue trail you crafting friends on the pc importing the glass oh cheers to you Navarana. charles charles Oh, now what about folding this in half so we can make, it almost looks like a double daisy there. Now if we tuck that under there, or there, that's quite nice, isn't it? We can tuck that one right in there. And I'm thinking, what about popping a little pearl or something in the centre there? Oh, actually that one, we'll forget about that one. Ooh, you're making blackberry buckle. Ooh, blackberry season. Yum. Of course it is. Of course it is with you guys, because it's autumn, isn't it? I wonder if blackberries originated in the UK first or Australia. Like, did the Brits take blackberry bushes to Australia? And then, do you think, like, the blackberry bushes must have got confused for a bit? Because, like, they were in a different season. What do you think? Ah, now I forgot to put that ribbon there. So, what if we make a really gorgeous, shabby chic, zhuzhi bow? So, find the halfway mark. And I'm going to show you how to do a double bow. So you tie the bow like that. Then you tie another bow like that. Two there now. Oops, I just pulled that by accident. Okay, and then you can do that. Ooh. And then there we go. Right. Yeah, they're kind of weeds here too, really. Yeah, it depends where they are. I guess that's the same for most plants, isn't it? A plant where you don't want it is a weed. It's 
see I still want this to show but it's quite nice having these little bits of ribbon kind of flopping there we go very nice is there anything else I want to put on here no no shred that no trying to see if I had a strip of lime green or something oh I've got a strip of this tiny little strip just to differentiate that section from that section I think that works cut that down a bit Right, ladies and gents, I think this is going to be the last card of the evening. So we're planning to go for a bit of a walk tomorrow with some friends. However, we're going to keep a safe distance from each other. But just be together on a little walk. But not be near each other, if that makes sense. So close enough to be able to yell. <laughs> Go. Hello, <laughs> you alright? <laughs> but not too close. Oh, got a bit of glue on there. Right, so should we stick this on a piece of turquoise? Let's have a look which one looks best. Oh, sorry. Right, so we've got. Bermuda Bay or we've got Coastal Cabana hmm I'm thinking of Bermuda Bay let's get rid of this stuff here. that was a bit of a fail wasn't it of that And then I've just spotted this again. I'm thinking, ooh, ooh, that could look nice. Ooh, that looks lush. Right, let's cut that off. This is retired, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Most of the, yeah, I was going to say most of the products you see are retired. That's not true. Um, most of the, the, the paper stuff and the embossing folders, they're current as of March 2020. So let's flip this over, stick it a bit of the glue there, and fold that over. Oh, that's no, I need my silicon finger. There we go. Right. And then stretch that there, and pull that there. Bear with, bear with. Put glue there. Pull that down. Right. Okay. Yeah, it is true, Wendy. Although, as I said, I did have a bit of a clearing out of my scraps recently. So, um, quite a few of these scraps on my table are current at the moment. Oh, now I've got to watch out. Hold on, is that the right way round? Uh, yes. Well, mind you, with a card like this, it doesn't really matter which way round you do it. It's just with butterflies, they had to fly upwards, didn't they? Now with very textured cards like this, you do have to give them a good rub. Make sure the glue is really sticking. So you could have this this way up. Or you could have it that way up. Oh 
do you really? But yes, it is pretty that one. I'm pleased how that one turned out. So let's have a little recap. Oh, I did do three cards. That's not too bad. Just had one fail. Right, so that one, that was quite easy to put together. I mean, it already had a really pretty background. And if you want to check out how I did that, I think it's under baby wipe technique about a week or so ago. I did that one. Um, I used, yeah, I was doing baby wipe technique and then I ended up using the leftovers and then squished the baby wipe through the embossing folder to get that effect. Okay, so that was really fun to do. Then, so, then there's this one with the, all those lovely butterflies and all that texture. And that one. So... Which is your favourite? Vote now. Ooh, there we go. Just unplug my glue gun. I won't need that anymore. You can't pick a fave. So we've got a vote for number one. Oh, two votes for number one. Oh, three votes for number one. It'll be nice once in the day I'll take photos because I think the daylight will give it, you'll be able to see the truer colours really. So, ooh, one and three. Oh, poor number two. This one is very interesting from a texture point of view. It's quite thick. Um, much subtler, this one. Um, these ones. There we go. Oh, Christine, you came back. How's your internet going? There's probably loads of people on the internet, isn't there, right now? Now I need to make a box for them all. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping they'd just fit in an envelope and I'd just like, I don't know, hope for the best. Oh, just about. Just about. <laughs> I'm terrible. Oh, right, so three is winning now. Right, hold on. So, uh, 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 Ah, well done, Christine. Okay, so we've got four for number one, two for number two, and six for number three. That's fine. It's all good. Oh, I should add some little pearls or something, shouldn't I? I think this one needed pearls. And that one. Um... So you might all change your minds now.
<laughs> my homework is to make a coordinating box. Hmm. I'm not very good at all that kind of thing, to be honest, Sheila. Not Sheila, Vanessa. Thank you. Do I have to apologise to Sheila again for not using stencils? Although technically, stencils were used on that one. So I might get away with that. So these are retired pearls because they don't do them in strips like this anymore. <laughs> sure, okay, says so Sheila. Look, see, look, I promise, look, there's a bit of stencil there, Sheila. There we go. Yeah, I think I like it better with the pearls. That one already had, that one's already got pearls on it. Although, could I stick one in there? Hmm, no. Ooh, let's try and put them right in the middle of the hexagons. Still number one, says Nydia. Look, it's cute with the pet cute with the pearls inside the hexagons. This one feels like it needs more pearls on it now. Oh, it's got a bit of glue on there. Let's see if I can get my, my eraser. Special glue rubber. Get that off. There we go. Righty ho! There we go, guys. Thanks for all the love and the sharing out and the watching and the company. Great to see you guys. Hope that's inspired you to get your scraps out and have a little fiddle. You know, you use up your stash. You know. Number two would look nice in a frame in a shabby chic bedroom. Yes. You know of anyone doing some decorating at the moment, Christine? Um, yeah, the reason I'm teasing Christine is because uh, a relative of hers is uh, decorating their, their house at the moment. So there we go. You're welcome, Gina. Lovely to see you all. Just lugging my suitcase. <laughs> Vanessa, which suitcase? Vanessa's got about 20 suitcases of like scraps. Maybe just go through one suitcase and just, I don't know, organise them into colour order or something. That will help you. And then, um, yeah. Take care, guys. See you soon.